Indeed, in pleasure. Who else other than? We've been seeing him. He only comes to Chicago when we celebrate the tricolor, when we celebrate 15th August. I think he's scared of the cold, so he never comes to us on the 26th of January. Azharji, we welcome you to TV Asia. I do recall my first interaction was with you when the mayor, Delhi, has the reception for the Indian community in Delhi, Pla that uh, Chicago Cultural Center, and you've been invited guest, and uh, you came all the way from India. That was the first time during the India's Independence Day time. Let's hear from you. What brings you all the way from Hyderabad just for a couple of days only to celebrate the tricolor? Well, I think it appears that uh, I'm uh, magnetized to Chicago. Mm -hmm. First of all, uh, a very happy Independence Day to everyone who's living here, all the Indians mm -hmm. and all over the United States. And uh, you did say that I never come on 26th January. Actually, I like cold weather. Mm -hmm. I'm like a lot of people tell me that uh, you, there is good summer, good weather, mm -hmm. good summer. Because India also has summer. India has also been very hot. And here it's hot as well. I like coming in the month of December or January where it's cold, you know, like cold weather. But anyways, I'm very happy to come to Chicago, you know, like for this parade and for the banquet today. I think it's a joyous uh, occasion, you know, like everybody enjoys here. That's one, one uh, uh, celebration which brings everybody together, you know, from different caste, creed and uh, religion. So I'm very happy to be here. I'm looking forward to the parade tomorrow. Asarji, cricket then and cricket now, we do see, like, you know, even in Chicago, you'll be seeing there are new pitches coming. It has become like everybody takes the people, those who came earlier in 60s and 50s. So they were passionate about cricket. But now the kids, those who are born here to the parents of Indian origin, because cricket has been more of a commonwealth game and it is becoming so very popular. So as being a cricketer, yes, what is your call on that? Well, I think cricket has become very popular all over the world, you know, I think especially in the United States also. I think if you have a very good association here, you know, because there are a lot of conflicts which happen in this uh, in the United States uh, as far as cricket goes. But once those uh, conflicts are not there, you know, I think the game of cricket will really, I mean, uh, have a good uh, opening here in the United States as well. But I think it actually depends on people, you know, because uh, especially boys of, who are born here, and uh, it's very hard for them to play cricket because uh, they are when they are growing up they see basketball and baseball and ice hockey so i think their uh, interest is more that side but then when you have the facilities you know then only people can play but as far as the people have come here in the 50s and 60s you know i mean they were passionate about the game and cricket is one game cricket and hockey were the two games you know they were very passionate about and uh, to a certain extent football also so I think they, they are more interested. I see a lot of people from that a age, you know, they talk more about cricket than the younger generation, which is now. I would like to share with you because the districts, uh, the different districts, they are pitching in money to have the pitches. Like we do have one in Hanover Park. There is one which is going to be getting inaugurated coming Sunday in Skokie area. They do play in Devon Avenue where we'll be having a parade tomorrow. They do play in Naperville. So it's the park district, they pitch in the money because the different uh, municipalities, because the residents, those who are living there, they are paying taxes. So they want to have pitches. They want their kids to be, because that we never saw that it's coming. And then uh, because winter uh, is getting shorter here, so they do have indoor also. No, it's a very uh, good and welcome change, you know, because the districts and the people, the, um, especially the government here, is putting on money, you know. I think because there's so many uh, expatriates who live here, you know, the people, especially from India and so different other different countries. So I think it is very imperative that they should do that, you know, because since you're saying that there's a lot of interest shown, but I think I honestly feel that, you know, unless and until you have a good infrastructure, then only you can produce good players. You know, just having just players playing on Sundays and Saturdays, I mean, uh, it's, it's not going to help, you know, it's just they're playing it just for like amusement mm -hmm. type, you know, like mm -hmm. passion or something like that. But then when you want to play serious cricket, when you want to achieve something, when you want to represent the country, I mean, you have to practice every day and the infrastructure and the facilities has to be good because one or two pitches are uh, not going to make big difference, not sufficient. Let's talk to you from a cricketer to a politician mm -hmm. <laughs> and your journey. So what are you doing nowadays? Well, I think so far it's good, you know, I mean, like, you know, elections are coming up next year, so... Mm -hmm. I'm going to run for the MPC to know. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, inshallah, hopefully from uh, Sikandrabad, which is my area, you know, which is my place, you know, born there. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens next year. So 2019 still slightly far. So you 
So, um, can we expect you 26 January or you'll be busy with the polls? Um, no, I can I can make time. You know, as I've said, you know, I mean, I like coming to Chicago, you know, because uh, I mean, I, as I've said, you know, I get so many invites from so many different states. But I think when it comes to Chicago, I think uh, I have a soft side to the state. On a concluding note, let's go a little personal. Your son is playing cricket too. I met him, I think he came six, seven months ago. So what do you see as a father, I means a legend, and then he is also very aspiring cricketer? As a father, a father always wants his son, his son to play better than him, you know, earn more name and glory. So that's what I'm expecting from him. And I think he's got talent, So, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, he has to practice very hard, you know, which is being, which he's doing. And you know, I think this year the results will show, hopefully. This is for you. And you always say, my dad always wants me. So I got him right there. And uh, because we did talk to him, he said, dad always wants, no, you have to practice, practice, practice. But he's a very sweet kid, I must tell you. Like, you know. Thank you so much for your time. I would really appreciate it. And happy 15th. Thank you. Yeah, same. You know, I mean, happy, happy Independence Day to everyone in the United States.